This is the shop. This is the shop. It's gonna be my daily driver also. We are on episode three. We're with Alan. Alan Trophy Trucking from Mexicali. Alan and Jorman Raceworks are putting like Mexican shops and all that kind of stuff on the map. These guys have been really well established with what they do and that's why we're down here, which is pretty cool. But just a, a quick background on you, man. You worked with Jorman Raceworks and you basically translated for them, yeah, right? Yeah, actually was helping him uh, and still do um, with all of the American customers, the US customers that he has Yeah. Uh, because of the language. Uh, mm -hmm. So I help him with that, I help him with the parts. And then that's how you kind of got into it or were you always into it before I've been into it since I was a little kid like um, when my dad used to bring it to the races and everything so I started so building trucks like in 2006 I think okay and my first truck was built by Jorman and he built like five or six trucks for me and I think uh, that people started to like him the, the style that I gave to the trucks and start to send messages directly to me instead of Jorman and that's why we Got started it. working together and, and um, so so now you're doing kind of your own shop yeah, right now, actually, we're doing a... This is the shop. This is the shop right now, the garage of my house right now, yeah. because uh, we're setting up a, a, a new shop, and um, we are not there full time, so okay. we, I don't want to lose uh, sight of the trucks and, and, I got and you. The toolings and whatever. I got you. So I prefer to have it here. I have my cameras, I have my docks, I have everything, yeah. and I'm here most of the time. So that's why we're starting over here, and once we have this spot really secure and and, yeah. and all the alarms and everything working we'll yeah we'll move over there so that, that's cool man i mean so basically you're translating that's how you got into it then you started fabricating yeah you started right. working with him yeah uh, i uh partnered with a guy that i don't know if you ever heard of Corey race cars over here in mexicali also okay he is the lead fabricator over there so we are doing the trucks over here so nice basically this truck was built from the ground up right here so this one and, yeah. and so this is the bad right, boy we're going to talk about today the same spot yeah you mentioned something about like going to the races with your dad out here when you were a kid tell us tell us about like the culture in mexico in oh, in baja score racers is is our uh, national sport over here in baja you right know uh, yeah. all the score races like the baja 1000 baja 100 and, yeah. and the 250 those are those are uh are like our those super are the, he the heroes yeah those are the super bowls over here so yeah out by us in in southern california it's a real small niche you know like yeah. sometimes we'll be driving on the freeway and we'll see somebody with like a race number or a yeah, chase number yeah. and we'll kind of look to see who it is yeah but out here it's so embedded in their culture yeah it's you like can a, see it every corner over here. everywhere right yeah. and and that's why the kids really do love to get like posters and stickers yeah. and and they like to take pictures because these american racers and and mexican racers yeah. now a yeah, lot of yeah, mexican, yeah, racers, a lot of mexican now. racers and and and, and uh, proficient mexican racers are yeah. the guys that are doing really good really really good yeah. and racing in some of the top tiers yeah now. yeah for sure so it, it's cool to see how like the southern california racing and off-road racing got brought here and then it created its own culture and now you see guys like Alan that are having their own shops here continuing the tradition of going to the races with their families barbecuing yeah. hanging out for the weekend it's like he said it's like live Super Bowl you know you get to see I mean, Michael Jordan run by yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, but it's that, Robbie that, Gordon that you know? something like that like watching Michael Jordan drive uh, walk in on the street and that's in what your, you see in your hood yeah in your hood that's yeah. when you see Robbie Gordon walking on on a gas it's station cool. or whatever you can find him when he's pre-running or, yeah. or racing it down here in Baja so it, it, it means it means a lot to the people yeah. and shout out to the people of Baja especially <laughs> me me Mexicali um, you know, Ensenada, San Felipe, all those people who are the, like the Baja fans. And so yeah. I could talk all day. I'm going to shut up <laughs> and he's going to tell us about this truck. All right, man. So tell us about this thing. Well, whose truck is this or what's well, up with it? Actually, this is my own personal truck. It used to be my dad's truck. Uh, my dad, it's a 76 40 100 uh, Ranger. Okay. My dad bought it in, like in 1980 or 81. So it's no been way. The, yeah. Oh, been in the family shit. for 40 years almost uh, so oh my god that's yeah. insane man so i was like one year old when he got it like uh, uh so I was, and, and where has it been just sitting yeah uh, yeah my dad drove it like for 30 years or something like that wow till the motor broke and instead of fixing this one he built a 79 bronco and this kept sitting for a while and um 
we start working on it. My actually, my dad started working on the motor to bring it back to life, but it got all rusted. Mm. All, all of the it got the weather yeah, wear and tear. You, yeah, you still can see on the on the on the windshield a bunch of a bunch of rust, and that, that we still have to fix. He gave it to me and uh, start working on it. Um, That's cool. I mean, uh, I'm a pre runner guy. I'm yeah, actually, it's gonna be my daily driver. Also, all nah. of the trucks that I had, they are my dailies. So. Yeah, and, and I think I think we have some footage of Alan dailying his truck. Yeah. It's more like the culture of just driving a pre-runner around yeah, and being able yeah. to do whatever you want with it. That's right. Cool, man. So, man, so this this thing has some real sentimental value. I haven't done the, the actual front end of the of the suspension right now. Okay. Uh, it has the stock beams right now still. Okay. I only moved the centers of the the pivot points of the of the original I beams. Yeah. So it looks wider because we started with the cage and in the in the back half and okay. four link of the truck. Okay. But I already have the suspension. Uh, I bought it built. Oh, I have them already ready to install. Okay. But, uh, I want to finish first the finish the, the back half. The, the back half of the truck. Okay. Uh, that I have almost all set up. Okay. And um. I used some Geiser Brother trailing arms. Uh, we did the, the we cut the frame rails from the cab up, uh, back. Okay. And uh, using a query rear end. Nice, nice. Um, actually, just put uh, these tabs to put the coilers on, so I could get it on the on his own weight. But, okay. Uh, oh, so you just yeah, got, so you threw the tabs on there just yeah, to, yeah, so it could sit down. Just to put it on his own weight and be able to move it here at, at the garage. Right. And um and also because I'm looking onto different shock mounts uh, styles that I've, okay. I want to use something different that I uh, what I used to uh, build before. Yeah. And um. I'm so this is to just to get it mobile to yeah, just to, to move around. This is it. And, and, uh, but it, but but so it looks yeah. like this thing's gonna be coming along cool, man. I mean, yeah. uh, I like how the uh, how the tires are gonna sit back here. This back cage looks pretty yeah, rad. Yeah, actually, the, the position of the shocks, I think it, it'll be the same. Right. But uh, but uh, with the with the uh, yeah with really the full build, uh, shock mount tower. So right, right. Uh, right now we got uh, as it is, we got like thirty two inches of travel in the back, and um, nice. I think we're gonna strap it like a thirty. And, okay. Um, nice. So. Working on the interior also. Yeah, let's check out the inside. This is the basic layout. Yeah, this is the um, basic layout. That I actually put it together to, to do the filming. To, to show today? Yeah, okay, to, that's cool. To show it, uh, but it's, it's going to be what it, what it is. So you, so you guys plan on running AC, AC and all that? Wired. Yeah, it's going to have AC. Cool. Going to put a vintage air. Uh, Cool uh, system. Kit. Okay, yeah. and um, you can run without AC over here. Maybe. Yeah, so. this is a, a a work in progress. Yeah, work and, in progress. Pro uh, but it already looked. It looks so damn sexy already, bro. Yeah, it looks like a great truck. Do you guys make your own seats or? Actually, a guy here in Mexicali builds them and uh, sells them to me, and and he can do personalized uh, nice. stuff. So that's cool, man. Yeah. This looks really clean. Yeah, I like how wide this seat looks. Yeah, too. they're really wide and they're really comfortable. Yeah, and for me that I'm a big guy, a six three guy. And yeah. They're really comfortable and being yeah. this a uh, super small cage, uh, cap. Yeah. Uh, it, it works out good, yeah. man. This works out really good. And then uh, what what rims are these things? Actually, they're street locks, not the real bead locks. Yeah. Thing. Because cause I daily drive them. The, the no big locks, deal, yeah. Yeah, the bead locks are, are heavier, I think, than, than, than these ones. And and so uh, these will work? Yeah, this will work for now because uh, uh, once I have it all done and, and 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 get ready to run and ready to yeah to do some laps in the, in the, in the you'll get your bead locks i'll get my bead locks yeah in. no dude this works man i mean yeah. it's going to be a daily truck right here but it's going to be dialed yeah but very cool man very cool well dude i'm really happy we got to come out here thank you so much yeah. for inviting us uh, thank you james for coming out finally we got to get it together it's so, been years yeah it's been years we've I've been, been talking trying... for a couple of years at least a couple yeah years. at least a couple of years. at least so if you guys are in baja and you guys are watching you guys could reach out to alan through trophy trucking his Instagram hashtag. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys will see us at some code races. Yeah, for right? sure. We'll hopefully we can get, we can get you guys on on um, February the first race of the year. That it's a uh, Grand Prix and everybody's over there. A lot like of truck truck drivers. A lot of. What if I'll try to get some of my guys? To yeah, come for sure. Some of, the crew. some some of you guys should come and race over here. That there's a there's good competition. Stop being scared, guys. Yeah. Stop being scared, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I help you out, guys, with whatever I can, yeah. and, and uh, even yeah. talk to the race directors that we have over here, yeah. and we can give you. I like that, dude. Maybe Terra Crew can like sponsor or work with one of the race directors yeah. for a class. Yeah, for sure.
That sounds, I love that. All right. All right, guys, hey, thank you guys for checking out this episode. This is our third episode over here in Mexico. Kind of like a quick little turnaround we did. Again, we're super grateful that they were so welcoming and, and uh, they, they let us cruise out here. And if you guys have any questions for Alan, please hit him up. We look forward to you guys sharing these videos and helping us grow. We'll see you guys around next time, later. Bye. Guys. Yeah, <laughs>